Hello, I'm Stuart Brady. I'm a barrister at Farris Building Chambers in London. Um, I work across personal injury disciplines, but in particular, I have a specialty in disease claims, and I'm delighted to be bringing this presentation to you today on the all-important issue of limitation in uh, disease claims. So what are we going to talk about today? Um, limitation basics, you, know, you, you can't brush up on the basics too often, then go on to the knowledge stuff under Section 14, then Section 33, and then some procedural and evidential uh, matters that flow from all of that. So limitation of disease claims, why are we talking about this? Right. Not all disease claims relate to historical exposure, uh, but most do. So by that, what I mean is there's an accumulation of uh, tortious exposure or non-tortious exposure over time, which results in uh, a disease eventuating. Uh, the very character of, of disease claims, that continued exposure over time, leads to limitation questions, meaning, therefore, limitation is a live issue in most cases. Um, and th that brings with it an attendant ambiguity about matters such as when did exposure take place? When was the tortious exposure? When was non tortious exposure? When was the onset of the injury? Who can we attribute to, uh, to over time? There might be many different uh, defendants uh, who have attributed uh, or, or who have contributed to the, to the disease. Uh, so there are a range of questions there uh, uh, historically. Uh, and that ambiguity leads to lots of limitation related questions. So, the genesis of all of this, uh, Section 11 of the Limitation Act, um, which covers um, personal injury. Um, and, and you can read the provisions therein. It's not just for negligence, also for breach of statutory duty, obviously very important in the disease domain. Um, the contract, less so, less so, nuisance, less so, but there may be some outlying cases where that is of relevance. Uh, so it, it's always helpful to know and have regard to the fact that any uh, any or most causes of action that, that result in personal injury are covered off by Section 11. Uh, 